Hey everyone and welcome to a mental skills discussion that I have fairly often with players that I coach. My name is Micah Babel, former top 30 WTA player, and the discussion that we have is about what it means to win ugly. Now, we're talking about winning with all fair measures. Nothing illegal, nothing that's gamesmanshiping, none of that stuff. What I mean by winning ugly is that you sometimes have to play in a way that you don't like. And for a lot of people, that means being consistent, being really consistent, and be what many other people in a very dismissive way call a pusher or a moonballer. But to my mind, that's a very legitimate tactical measure to find your way back into a match when the score really has run away with you. Okay, so you're just getting clobbered out there. You can play your regular game and you really feel like, okay, the only thing that I have here is moonball the ball over. Do it. That is what it means to win ugly. Because if you do that, you have understood that the person who gets one more ball in per rally is most likely to win the match if he or she does that more often. Okay, and so that is one way to win. I do not actually like when somebody comes back and says, I lost against a pusher. Because in my mind, what that says is a lot more about you than the other player. What that means to me is that you didn't figure out how to beat somebody who could keep the ball in play. And if they do that, hitting the ball 20 feet over the net, well, then they did that day what they had to do to win the match. Then you should have figured out how to beat that player instead of being dismissive of somebody who, again, has figured out that I'm going to win matches if I put more balls in the court. So I do really coach the moonballing, the call it what you will pushing, and make the other person work for their win. We do not necessarily want to do that because we want to look competent and we want to look better than, you know, a consistent player. But I always go back to my career and I tell them, it's like, hey, I play people that just didn't miss. I'm thinking back to an Arantxa Sanchez Vicario or an Amanda Kutzer. They just didn't miss. They had great net clearance. Maybe they didn't moonball, but they didn't miss a ball. Their games were not made around hitting winners. So if you don't understand that they will beat you because they keep the ball in play, that's on you, not on them. And I want to show you that this example is true, not just for club players, for rec players, or even junior players. I want to show you a world-class player who was smart enough to figure out that after a set of not getting the ball on the court, by resorting to moonballing, she could fight her way back into the match. And really, she didn't care too much. And I think three days after she did that, nobody talked about her moonballing. So take a look here. Over Alexandrova. Sviantek resorting to Love hitting a moon ball like they used to do in the juniors, but it worked. So let's recap here. Iga Sviantek chooses to moon ball. Moon ball, push, whatever you want to call it. She's keeping her opportunities open there by just making her opponent play. And you see how much issue that gives to her opponent, to Barbara Trichikova. She couldn't handle it, okay? Because she was just running away with the score. All of a sudden, you know, Triatek actually gets a few balls back and the match turns. And that is the beauty of our sport. There's no clock that's running down. You have the chance to find another way to win. If they had stopped that match after an hour, Shui attack would have been done. But instead, she digs in, 
moon balls. Yes, call her that. I don't care. Pushes. But she wins the match. And she didn't care what other people think about her. And again, when somebody comes and says, oh, I lost against a pusher. Again, that says more about that player. That says more about them having to dismiss their opponent who found a legitimate way, a tactical measure that works. So to me, that is Iga Swiatek being a mentally extremely skilled player because A, she understood, if I continue to play the way I do, I'm home, and then had another tactical way for her to get back into that match. And just saying like, okay, and she said that actually, by the way, later that I now believe that even if I play poorly, I can still win matches. Even if I play ugly, I can win matches. And that is to my mind what it means to win ugly. That day you do what has to be done regardless of what anybody else thinks. And I'm not so sure if anybody after three days, after she bageled Karolina Pliskova, if anybody remembered and said like, oh, she pushed. So I'm thinking if the 2020 Grand Slam Roland Garros winner can find her way back into the match by moonballing, by pushing, probably we should take a second look at that when the score is running away from us. So I advise you, don't be too proud. Don't consider too many things other than what is it that I have to do right now? What do I have under control right now that will help me win the match? And if it's pushing, if it's keeping the ball in play, you're winning ugly. <laughs>